Warm greetings. Today is Saturday, September 7, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 11.30 a.m. local time in Louisiana, Texas, and Tamaulipas, where people should be paying close attention to the newly designated Invest 91, a tropical wave that has just reached the Bay of Campeche and is interacting with a low-pressure zone associated with a frontal system. It is very likely that a tropical cyclone will form, which would be named Tropical Storm Francine. While I will be focusing on the Gulf of Mexico states in this video, I wanted to let you know that later today, I will be recording another video to discuss the possible development of one or two tropical cyclones in the tropical Atlantic. So, after an extended period of no cyclonic activity, it seems that next week will be quite active in the Atlantic. Without further ado, let's talk about the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see, at 8 a.m., the National Hurricane Center raised the chances of a tropical cyclone developing to 60% in the waters south and southwest of the Gulf of Mexico, and it is very likely that by 2 p.m., the chances of development will increase again. All signs point to at least tropical storm Francine forming by early to mid next week. Let's zoom in on the visible satellite animation. You can see a low-pressure zone located southeast of Texas, and another low-pressure zone with rotation associated with the tropical wave currently moving out of Campeche. Over the next few days, the forecast is for the low-pressure zone associated with the frontal system to move south, while the tropical wave will move northwest. These two disturbances are expected to converge just east of the states of Tamaulipas and Veracruz. Conditions in this area are favorable for the development of a tropical cyclone, particularly because the geography of the Bay of Campeche often promotes cyclonic development. Let's look at the latest global model projections. Here we can see the American model. You can see that by Monday night, it shows a tropical storm developing east of Veracruz and Tamaulipas, and in the latest run, it shows a trajectory moving north-northeast, passing very close and parallel to the Texas coast between Wednesday and Thursday. In this run, the American model has a hurricane developing east of Texas and south of Louisiana, and by Thursday morning, it shows a possible hurricane making landfall in Louisiana. However, remember that this is just one run, and we will have to wait to see how the potential cyclone develops in this area. On the other hand, we also have the European model projection, which generally shows the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm east of Tamaulipas by early Monday morning, eventually maintaining a trajectory along the Texas coast between Wednesday and Thursday, and then moving over Louisiana. In this case, the European model only shows a weak tropical depression or storm. However, this is because the model shows a trajectory that would interact with land and could weaken this future cyclone. There's definitely a big discrepancy between the two best models, and what we have to do is observe how the projections evolve in future runs. However, the other models agree with the American model's solution. For example, the German model has a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane making landfall in southern Louisiana on Wednesday morning. The UK model also shows a strong tropical storm approaching southeastern Louisiana by early Thursday morning. We'll be keeping a close eye on this, especially to see if the European model aligns with the other models in this afternoon's run. What I can tell you is that the chances of a tropical cyclone developing in the Gulf of Mexico waters are increasing, and this will likely have some impact on the states of Louisiana, Texas, and Tamaulipas. Next, I'll show you the risk of heavy rains and flooding expected over the next seven days. Also, note that the ensemble members of the GEFS model generally agree that a tropical depression or storm could develop near the Bay of Campeche, maintaining a parallel trajectory to the coasts of Tamaulipas and Texas. Most models show a moderate or strong tropical storm reaching Louisiana between Wednesday and Thursday. In some scenarios, some members show a trajectory along the Texas coast. That's why it's important for people in Louisiana, Texas, and Tamaulipas to stay alert for updates on this disturbance. Similarly, the European ensemble members show a very similar outlook. Even though there's still some uncertainty about the final effects of the potential tropical storm Francine, we can already begin to see the risk of heavy rains and flooding that will be present over the coming days. For example, let's look at the accumulated rainfall projections according to the American model. For some areas in eastern Tamaulipas and Veracruz, between 200 and 300 millimeters of rain could fall over the next five to seven days. In parts of Texas and Louisiana, four to eight inches of rain are projected, and in some areas up to 12 inches. This poses a serious risk of flooding for parts of Alabama, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. The European model also generally agrees with these projections. Even if this system follows a trajectory over Texas or Louisiana, as it is associated with a frontal system, several rainy days are expected along the coasts of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and Texas, with some areas seeing accumulated rainfall between 4 and 12 inches over the next seven days. Well, that's all for this forecast update. Stay tuned to Hurricane Info as I will keep you informed with updates on this potential future tropical cyclone. To ensure you don't miss any videos I'll be recording in the coming days, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Go down to the bottom of the video, 
click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to receive notifications when I post new videos. Well, that's all for now. I will record the next video this afternoon to talk about the possible developments between the Caribbean and Africa. See you later.